How's it going, amazing people? So today we're going to be playing some Genshin Impact Archon Quest. I believe this is an Archon Quest. Um, this one is the new Dane's Leaf um, Quest. And um, I heard that it's short, but I'm still excited to play regardless. So let's do this. Cold Case Commission. Um, in Sumeru, navigate. Let's go over here. Let's talk to Catherine. Hello. Ah, perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. Really? The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? Why? Wow, Paimon think that. Um, but sure. Let's, we're happy to take this. Mm, we're happy to take this on. Which Archon do you need us to deal with today? Oh my gosh. The Adventurous Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. All it asks us to do is to find a missing person. Okay. Easy peasy. Huh? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it have all ended in failure. This one. Despite okay. attempts by several accomplished and renowned adventurers. With the mm. reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, it's in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion rate over the past few years. Well, that's us for sure. Wow! Flattery will get you everywhere, yep. But I can't guarantee that we'll be able to complete it either. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. Mm-hmm. If it proves to be beyond your capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about canceling the commission. Okay. Okay, so who are we looking mm. for? And what is it about this commission that's made it so hard to complete? This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. They say one of their own villagers has gone missing. Hmm. But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. They can only provide information about his general appearance. Wait, why? Uh, they're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? That's true. Hmm. If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some sort of a prank or something? Just really how shiny Several villagers have tried to issue a commission. And judging by their appearance and tone of voice, Never mind, they not. seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, Putting up a commission requires a processing fee. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. True. Would be strange. In any case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurous Guild does have some information on hand, but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. The best way to avoid misdirection is to go to the source. Oh. All right then, let's go! I'm to get really Did I click it by accident? Bedtime story. Go to Vimara Village. Got it. Uh, Vimara Village. Okay. How will we look around? Villagers to learn a little bit more about the missing guy. One is close by here. Is really as challenging as Cather made it out to be. We're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. Oh, that thing is uh, is dancing. How cute! Oh, and it runs, flies away. Hello there. You looking to buy something? I do business in this area. Oh no no, we're adventurers. Catherine sent us to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you're here about that, then. Ah, you're not the first, that's for sure. 
We've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all. Mm -hmm. To be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. We've pretty much had it up to here in questions, and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues. But no one has been able to make any headway. Yikes. So, this person we're looking for, what's his name? Where did he live? Does he have any relatives? Uh, that three questions no. very quick. I really have no clue. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Guess you are really sick of answering questions. Really? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short with you. I was actually just giving you my answer to your questions. So those three questions are a no-go then. Is there anything else you can tell us? I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of him. When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together, you know? We just don't know the specifics. Maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. Oh, the village memory um, got wiped out, did it? At least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. We've all exchanged what we know, and that was the only logical conclusion. Yikes. All right, specifics aside then, what kind of person was he? Young guy, in his early 20s probably. Incredibly kind sort of person, always willing to lend a helping hand. Okay, at least they remember that. I, I chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. Hmm. But of course, everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. Oh. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Hmm. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? No, he's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. That's true. Huh. Alright, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. Okay. Uh, this one is all the way there. We go swimming. Swimming. All right. It's that guest side here. Yeah. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. I hope. With my failing eyesight, Aww. I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. Oh. I don't think his parents are still living in the village, but somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. Mm -hmm. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Oh, well, he felt nice. Wow. He seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. Mm. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? Oh. <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information just doesn't come. 
Perhaps my age really has caught up with me this time. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Well, Traveler, what do you think? There's probably more to this cave than meets the eye. A lot of things are not adding Maybe up. I think so too. Like the name thing. It's so weird that no one remembers his name. Mm -hmm. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his family or where he lived. It's like this guy's been erased from reality or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I had some. I had a thought, but I forgot now. I would say it's more like, oh yeah, I rem I love how we come to the conclusion after talking to two people. <laughs> um, more like he's someone who's who only exists in people's memories. Wait, so you're saying it's not that he's been erased necessarily, but more like he never existed to begin with? Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to process that one. Someone who only exists in people's memories? Could it be... Like, the one good thing about... Hmm, you know what? I'm not gonna... I kind of wish that this one kind of talks... Kind of has more voice line, really. Um, could it be like what happened with Greater Lord Ruka Devada? Like, some sort of mess? alteration of people's memories you are the adventurers who just arrived right you're here for the vamara village commission mm-hmm yep, yep. Sure are. we were just looking into the case i'm so glad to hear that thank goodness you haven't given up i've been so worried the adventurers guild might cancel our commission my name is atosa by the way i grew up here in vamara village anyway i just wanted to say please keep searching for a missing villager i'm begging you you have to find him. We'll do our best. Yeah, no need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. So, were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm. I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Okay. That sounds better. Go to the place indicated by Atosa. This close. Eh, this one is closer. This one here is close, so. Man, I've been playing Wither Ring Wave that that I wish I have that that flaming motorcycle echo. Just for the transportation. Ooh, that one's those creatures are bouncing. Oh, it's the flying one. Hehe. <laughs> there it is. This the place under this tree? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need I my water. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree. Are they talk. besties? Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. Mm. We could sit there for hours at a time. Never realizing how long it had been. Mm -hmm. I was actually adopted by the people of Vamara Village. The forest rangers found me in the woods as a child. I was surrounded by such good people, and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? Mm -hmm. uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to, or if I should say anything at all. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. I think I get what you mean. That was family's for Oh, and me. Really? You know exactly how it feels? <clears throat> I used to have someone like that. A family member that I could talk to no matter what. But now I have a lot of friends who understand me and would be happy to hear me out. Aww. Yeah. Wow, that sounds
sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you Excuse could say me. that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. Mm. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. Aww. He was so thoughtful and pure and patient, too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Mm. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow. Mm -hmm. You two must have been <clears throat> really close. Oh, do you know detail? Did he ever tell you anything about himself? Hmm. He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Oh, right. I did ask him about his parents once. But all he said was, they're not here anymore. Mm -hmm. I didn't know whether that meant they had left the village or passed away, and I didn't want to pry. Hmm. Still not much to go off of. That still gives you a little more info. <laughs> Look at me. Talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. You helped us understand him better, at least. The last time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Mm -hmm. Time always passed by really slowly. <clears throat> Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? It was always the same time of day, and time never seemed to pass. Based on what we've learned, this is definitely not a regular missing person's... Da -da -da! Missing person's case. When What Atosa just told us about time could be the key to unraveling this whole mystery. Oh boy. Oh hey, boy. Look at those hilly trails over there. Doesn't it seem like they're acting a little strange? Triple dots? The mage! Uh, the Abyss Order. Could they be the ones behind all of this? Mmm. Oh! Oh snap. Uh oh, we've been spotted! Quick! Get ready to fight! Okay! Wait, why do I have Zhongli? I I kind of stopped playing him, but sure. Oh, from Arlequino's quest. Any more? Oh yeah, there's more. Lovely! Eh, Bennett, you're fine. You know what? Fine! Fine! I'll do it! You're not done! Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not bad. Thank you so much. I wasn't expecting monsters to show up. If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. Hmm. It was no trouble. Mm-hmm. The question we should be asking now is, what is the Abyss Order doing around here? Hmm. Now that I think about it, the hilly trolls around Brumara Village have been a lot more active lately. They seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Chief Amadea doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore. Mm, good idea, though. Hmm. Maybe the Abyss Order really is involved. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Bamara Village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. Yeah. Cool. Did we already... Okay, we already went there. Wait a second. That person... It's... It's Dane's lab! 
We d show us, show him us. Oh, oh, they want to show him epically. Nice, epically, epic. Uh, it's you two. Hi, handsome. Oh, a friend of yours. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. See you later. Yep. See ya. I like how he she nods. Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? Never mind. Is your life's mission to jump scare us or something? I was about to say I like how she was nodding at the someone who's not even here, even though he was just like off camera. It's hardly personal or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. That's true. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then. That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Mm-hmm. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? We're also on their tail, but I'll admit we ran into them on accident. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. Mm -hmm. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. Yeah. So do you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine Water. the increased hilly trail activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Still, the hilly trail activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. True that. Well, let's see what more we can learn from the villagers. And after that, you also owe us many answers. And we shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. Okay. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. Yeah. Okay. You return to Vimara Village to gather intel based on what you've learned. Uh -huh. A little more cutscenes on this one. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Look at the thing over here. Well then, how about the intel you promised me? Right. That mysterious voice she heard in her brother's memory. The one who called himself the sinner. Who is he? Was that the last no. Archon quest? I Traveler, forgot. let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Uh, I want to have faith in him. Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. I hope this has a good you ending. Wish to know about. His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me and long betrayed their nation. His hmm. name is Vedderfolnir. The visionary. The what a name! I can't say that. It, but he is also my kin, my older brother. Oh. Your brother? Oh, this this Arkham quest is all about family. What happened between the two of you? What really happened in Conria back then? There were eh. five of them, the five sinners of Conria, the wise Roptatir, the visionary Vedderfolnir. Bed Gold, here. We heard that the one. The foul Sertologi and Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. No matter how eroded my memory may become, it's I will never forget their names. 
One day, I shall have my vengeance. Oh boy. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhyme Daughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertiluji is Skirk's master. Mmm, yeah, we did hear. Dane's brother, Vetifolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Krotar to create the Abyss Order was him. Somehow, everything is connected. Oh, oh, wait. If that's true, then the stone slates we found in the ruin in Fontaine, the ones that outline Fontaine's prophecy, that was likely Vedder Folnir's doing as well. I That one I remember. They were once people of great esteem in Kanriad, those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, outstanding in their respective fields. Six of us, together. We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster. The mm. ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Charging my phone. And deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became sinners, but also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power. And when the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation. Not one came forward to prevent the tragedy. Oh. And for that, they shall never have my forgiveness. I see. I know they only say sibling because of the change of gender, but my brother came into contact with your brother. Indeed. If they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. It must be hard to talk about all of this, but thank you for telling me. Of course. As I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. So I hope you're good and you been looking into all this time. I hope you're good and um I've continued for the to whole story. the questions surrounding the loom of fate. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. Oh, ah. Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Osio and make a god or something? Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. Hmm. The eye was integral to their plan, yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Loom Based on fate. the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. The Ley Lines? Traveler, you were able to observe your siblings' memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the ley lines in that area were unstable. That cutscene was My still cool. My recent investigation has shown that abyss order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the ley lines. And one of the things that flows through the ley lines are memories. Wait, then our commission here in Vimara Village, the person who seems to exist only in people's memories, could it be connected? Probably. Memories. Ley line. The loom of fate. The missing person that doesn't seem to exist. What's the connection between all this? It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries. Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we can get. Let's try investigating somewhere a little further away tomorrow. Okay. And I didn't need to use the clock.
Yay! This is a long cutscene. Too much brain juice yesterday. It's all Dane's fault saying all that complicated stuff. She's not wrong, if I had to be honest. Um, I didn't sleep well either. My head's a mess. It is well, always a mess. We've got a lot yeah. to do today. Yeah. And we're finally in some gameplay. Where is he? Over there. Cool. Dane! Oh. Uh, Dane? Hello, Dane? Why are you just zoning out over here? Uh oh. Why is he hesitating? Did something happen? What's wrong? The missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? Young guy? Early 20s? Seriously, Dane, what's going on? There appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. Oh. Memories of him. But uh, maybe, maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday and you had a weird dream or something? No, it wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. Hmm. I'm certain I've never met this person before. Oh! Oh, that's crazy. So... So, whatever they... Whatever the... Whatever the village could not remember, um, Dane can now remember? Is that what is happening? Remember. Him the eye of the first field tiller. What the heck? What? Okay, so this missing person definitely has something to do with the abyss order, then. She, Paimon sounds mad. Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. How is that even possible? Wait, then. All the memories the villagers have of him, could they be fake, too? Maybe they never knew him at all. But why would he do something like that? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> both of them. Whatever the Abyss Order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? Oh, whoops. That their goal is still to obtain the Eye of the First Field Tiller. They haven't stopped searching for it. You still have it, I'm right? I'm the only person who knows its location. Perhaps implanting that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. Oh, wow. Um, what if that memory is real? Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. Oh. However, considering their single-minded pursuit of the eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. Mm -hmm. Come with me. We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. Okay. Oh, so you're going to take us to where you hit it? But what if someone follows us? If we go straight there and someone's on our tail, aren't we just exposing the eye's location? Maybe that's the reason the Abyss Order implanted that memory in the first place. To force Dane to confirm the eye's location. Mm. Given what I know of him, though, I'm sure Dane has already thought of that possibility. It seems like he might already have a plan. Lead the way, Dane! Cool. And it's all the way here. I'll go here instead. Oh, excuse me. Um, hmm... Yeah, and then there's a stamina thing. That's the one good. That's one of the good things about um, Wuthering Wave, cause 
the stamina and like trying to go around go around um so you hit it way out here not easy I here in genshin discover, that's for sure yeah and that too well let's go check to see if it's safe okay traveler wait hmm uh oh we've no time to lose let's head inside what what was Dane going to tell me just now? Hey, wait up! You're fine, Paimon. Okie dokie. Should be good. Place of revelation. You know what? I don't know what to expect, so I'll keep Zhongli. I don't know if there's any OP characters like Arlecchino before. Memory that should not exist. Into the depths of the ruin. Whoa, wait. Did I mess up? Okay. Um... So, ooh, the head of that one is all, both of their heads are, all of their heads are cut off there. Oh boy. Chesty. Go with, um, eh. I don't know why I even need this. Give me that, thank you. There we go, and boom. Boom, and then go back. Okay. You can access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. Oh, we need to go there first. Okay. Um. How do you? How do I press this again? Is it T just like Wuthering Wave? Nope. I forgot. What was it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to look down on the thing. <laughs> oh, I keep on confusing my controls with, with Wuthering Waves. Is it, is it T? It is T. It's just that it's not labeled on the thing. It's labeled down, down at the corner. Okay, bam. And then, bam! Oh. Bam! There we go. And... Hello. Oh, boy. Then you just wake up. I wake up. I wake up. I wake up. Wake, wake up. What? Stabilize. There is no escape. Come on, come on. Easy for even my Tartaglia. Let's go. them's not shining. Alright, so. For some reason, one is not shining. Actually, all of them are not sure shining. The runes are pointing in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. Oh. Wait. Ah! Oh wait, oh, fudge. It's this kind of puzzle. Dang it. 
Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hiya. Hiya. And then do this. And then do this. Bam. Right? Ah, look at Aha. Myself. Let's go. <laughs> destination is just up ahead. That was pretty easy. Right over here. And then over here. Hiya. Oh, I didn't mean that. And then here we go. What is going on here? Oh boy, that was l pretty loud. That looks creepy. What's going on here? Looks like we can't go any further. Oh boy. Why is the camera angled like Being that? Your guard. I sense the presence of the abyss. That's why. Ooh, hello. It's the abyss order. They're here. They are here. I like how Dane's Dane's leaves all like. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Oh boy. I don't know if I ever if I ever um uh, fought this one. Easy peasy! No. Never mind. I accident oh Oh, wait, I need you. Wait, 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 I see, I see, I see. I need this one, cause... I need, um... Is Bennett actually gonna be all cool? Wait, wait, wait. Does this work? Oh, yeah, it does work. Hiya! And then boom, and boom, and boom. Come on, come on. Stay here! Come on! Hold on, hold on. Haha, ha, witness the power! <laughs> yeah, that's the power. <laughs> just as I suspected. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. I'm sorry, Dane. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. Oh no. Dane? What's wrong? Uh oh. Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the abyss. Wow, you must be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Byman doesn't feel it. Came with me. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. Leave you here on your own? Will you be all right? This order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Really? Just think of it as a way to divide and conquer. Okie dokie. Bye, handsome. Hope you're okay. Dane does have a point. But something still feels off. What am I missing? Rude. What's going on? Oh, this is ominous. Oh boy. The animation of this, though, very creepy and cool. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, I, I was thinking it was ether. 
I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. Why did you let Lorene leave then? You risked your safety and that of the eye. Ooh. That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. Lift. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? Ooh. When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. What is the story of Dainsliff? I know you must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. Uh. Ah. Uh. The abyss order's on the move. The ley lines are all out of whack. This is whack. You better hurry back to Vimara Village and see what's going on. Okay. Hello? Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. They seem strangely calm. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? Why are they so calm all of a sudden? Oh boy, this one here. Wait, I hear something. They bade farewell to the shrouded sun. Thank you for reading it to me. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh, did you hear that? What was that sound just now? You heard it too, Paimon? Sounded so gentle. Could that voice be comforting the hilly trails in some way? Mmm. Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. Is it that Carrie Bert person? I forgot who who's Carrie Bird again. It's not that one. Ooh, wait. You're currently... Oh, wow. So we have to finish this actual story. I see. Um, I, ne I need to... Um, a little... Um, memory refresher. Hold on. I just looked it up and... Um, even if this is a spoiler alert for those who didn't play... Um, you if you reach to this video um this part of the video it's already spoilers um apparently carrie bird is the um that hill of Churl that was in the last dane's leaf quest looks like the same thing is happening over here too the hilly churls are calm that main hill of Churl, um one with that one guy that Appears to be part of the Abyss Order. You see, we're both still here. So we're learning more about Carrie Burt? We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. I'm, a, I'm assuming this is Carrie Burt because I heard Release your of tears. It. You no longer need to hold back your sorrow. Uh-oh. Is that voice again? Check on the Hillitro? Okay. This one's sleeping. Over there. It looks like they're sleeping. Just like what I said. In the end, he whispered softly. Sleep well, father. Sleep well, my beloved people. When you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no more. It almost sounds like or some kind of story. Yeah, basically. Well, now that the hilly trails have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. Mm. Let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vimara Village before it's too late. My water just splashed me. All right. 
Um, talk to um, uh, I I know they they just said the name, but I don't remember the pronunciation. Dang it! I thought I could use a waypoint, but apparently it still wants me to walk. Lovely. I'm just lazy. I want I want waypoint. If we're not gonna have like like an actual um, transportation like like um, withering wave, I could use my other characters, but eh. They're not built. I don't want to hurt them. Grandpa Amadea, is everyone all right? The Abyss Order seems to be up to something nearby. The Abyss Order? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah. Well, thank you for your concern. But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. Hmm. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone, did you? Hmm? Someone's gone missing, you say? Who would that be? Ooh, I see. You don't remember? Things just got more complicated. You know, the young guy from Bamara Village. The one you've been looking for all this time? You posted a commission with the Sumeru Adventure. I think the memory just got That's kind of the removed. Whole reason we're here, actually. Your missing persons commission. Ah, I do apologize, you two. I hope I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. Paimon sounds like a child there. Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the missing villager. There's no way he could have forgotten all about him just like that. What do you think, Traveler? Could everyone's memories of the missing villager have been erased again? We should check in with the others okay, first. Right. We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. Okay. Where is this one? Is it that kid? No, it's not. It's the merchant. The Someone's gone missing? Who? Yep. Uh, just as expected. Hmm. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with? He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're talking about. You do? Really? You remember? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's what I said, hmm. then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. But why'd you say he's gone missing? Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. There was someone else with him, too. They couldn't have gone far. Uh, can we ask for details? Hello? Like, their names? And since he knows? Strange. Bayram seems to remember him. And apparently he just saw him? Did we just went maybe in a it's time? Not that there's something wrong with people's memories, but that we've somehow returned to a time before he went missing? Yeah, time traveling. That's what I was about to say. I doubt returning to the past would be that simple. You just did it in the last one. Given everything Dane has mentioned about disturbances with the ley lines, I'd say it's far more likely that this is related to memories in some way. I need to think carefully. What's really going on? Oh. I... Why are we doing this? What? Just like what happened with Greater Lord Luca Devata, no one remembers him. Because there's been a change in people's memories. Uh... 
We returned to the point before the disappearance took place. If we really did travel back to a time before he disappeared, that could explain why the villagers said he hadn't gone missing. If this person oh. only exists in people's memories, maybe we're in someone's memory right now. You're presently trembling. Mm. This one. Right. Paimon totally forgot about the ley line disturbances. We're in someone else's memory. Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time. That mm -hmm. would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. If we really are in someone's memory, then this is our chance to find him. Right. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf. But didn't Baron just say that he saw him leave the village with somewhere? Where should we go look for him? Who knows how long this ley line disturbance is going to last. We might not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is. Let's go through what we know so far. Good idea. That'll help us narrow things down. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to... Implant memories into the minds of others. Right! That! Could we try to figure out more about him using what we know of his ability? Like, does it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? Hmm. Implanting memories into the minds of others might be... Must be an imperfect... Imperfect process. There's no way the new memories could perfectly blend in with the old one. There has to be some kind of tell. Scenes from false memories will not change. All the memories seem to be set in or near Vimara village. But I'm still not sure if they're restricted to this location. Time does not pass within false memory. If time was allowed to pass within the false memories, there's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder to avoid suspicion. Uh, false memories are easily forgotten. There's a difference between memories that arise from lived experiences and those that are implanted into the mind. Perhaps it has something to do with time. Maybe? Maybe not. Sorry. This? Okay. No uh, that was my first choice anyway. Time in the sky hasn't changed a bit. Oh, duh. Forgot. Time isn't passing. That's the tell of the fake memories. The implanted memories are basically taking place outside of the regular 24 hours of the day. If the memories included the regular passage of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off. Like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time of day. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. Mmm, that actually makes sense, yeah. We're gonna do more. Um, if we consider this in conjunction with what we already know, then the question of whose memory this is seems to have an obvious answer. It could be that one. The color of the sky coincides with the moment in time she described. Mm hmm. Dave had memories implanted into his mind. Could it be that it's happened more than once? Mm hmm. It can't be that. Amadea. Chief Amadea forgot about the missing villager, but it turns out. We're at a moment in time before the village issued the commission. No, it has to be Atosa. Yeah. Oh, it makes good. sense with That's the story. Exactly what Atosa described. Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Hmm. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely Atosa's memory. To the tree! Yeah, that's where they'll be. Okay. 
which is oh i have to actually walk there okay hmm it is it is um i i kind of got spoiled i would say um with the appearance of who carrie bird is um but but how am i gonna explain this i'm very tired um but I had a feeling that the missing person they're talking about is a is Carrie Burt. That's why I talked about Carrie Burt before. Juliet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have anything you want to share? I understand that. I feel the same. I do the same thing. Um, it's okay if you don't. You, you could also just talk about what you think of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Oh, I, uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong and thoughtful young woman. Oh, you I are. Meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. For an NPC, he he does look really pretty cute. And with that voice, too. Oh, but I see that eye, though. Conria. Huh? Are those your friends over there? Ooh. Well. We finally found him. But why does he look kind of familiar? Yeah, so this is what? The son of that one guy in the last Dane's Leaf um, Archon Quest? Oh, right. This version of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. Oh, what? So, I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Hmm. Another time, huh? Um, yeah. Okay. I'll head back to the village then. Talk to you some other time. Hmm. She's really working up that she got a crush on him. <laughs> oh. It's nice to see you, Traveler. You know me? This is the first time we've met. How do you know how do you know me then? You're Oh yeah, that's right. Factoring the in the memories, the Abyss Order, the Loom of Fate, and everything else. I need to think of the one person that can connect all of this together. This one. But I'll just listen to everything. Founder of the Abyss Order. The man who broke the curse of immortality. That's it. That was, this is the guy that was in the other one. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of fate. I think it's that one. Dane the visionary. Dane, one of the five sinners of Conria. The one who stole the power of the abyss. He doesn't look like Dane, so let's go with this. Your... Kari Bear Alberic. You talk, Traveler. Oh, nice. You know me? That's quite the surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. We saw your dad, oh, I think. I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. You saw... Oh. The me from back then. Wait, did... What? This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. Oh, huh? So from back then, so meaning you, you transfer, you transfer, um, you turn back into a human from a hillotro? I'm, I'm not understanding the story. I'm sorry. A message instead. Come, let's find somewhere else to talk. No, a girl doesn't want you to leave a message for, to say goodbye. That's rude. Oh boy.
Huh? What is it? I don't understand this. This is a little creepy that this is the, the loading screen right now. Oh boy. The proof of existence. Okay. It's just the traveler this time. And I can't sprint. It's the tree. <sighs> hmm. What is this place? Can't we say, are you okay? I suppose you could call it the realm of my consciousness. There you go. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. Oh! As you well know. Oh wait, so that might explain the Hillotrill thing. Um, you look quite exhausted. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. I've always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. And now, Time has finally arrived. Mm -hmm. This is a rare opportunity for me as well. I should try to learn as much information from Carrie Bear as I can. What exactly happened to you? Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power that defies comprehension. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements... I would become the loom of fate. Yeah, I figured. But That's what I think. Intentions for me. I never truly became the loom of fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. Oh, snap. He disappeared. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the loom of fate. Carrie Bear is dead. That's why he no longer exists outside of people's memory. As for your question, that's why he does, they don't know the name. The I Lula think. Fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. Uh, In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until finally, it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. So that was the source of your ability to implant memories? Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. After all, its existence cost me my life. Hmm. So the memories that suddenly appeared in Dane's mind were implanted by Carrie Bear to through the half finished loom of fate. That makes sense, but I'm still lost as to why he went so far as to introduce himself to all the residents of Vimara Village. But why did you implant memories of yourself into the people of Vimara Village? Uh, that I was wrong to implant those memories. Sorry, I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. Hmm. I just wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. Hmm. As if I had a chance at life. Oh. So that's why I wouldn't have never guessed. But. Is there any kind of meaning to this? Does only existing in people's memories really count as living? I know what you must be thinking. Are you gonna say it? Why would I do something so meaningless? You kind of read my mind. But I just... I just couldn't accept it. I 
had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Hmm. Chief Amadea, Baram, Granny Jahid, Atosa. We didn't talk to Granny, though. Oh, they look so cute together. He even says Atosa with a gentle tone, too. What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Mm. Oh. Even if... Even if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been one memory at a time. Mm. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> no. It's okay. All, my life ended a long time ago. Mm. Any Triple dot. That living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. My consciousness left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. Mm, he definitely had it rough. Even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. Oh, I wonder you look. I think you look like him. In the end, this all stems from the tragedy that occurred in Conria back then. You know, everyone's looking for you. I know. But there's nothing I can do to make them find me. Hmm. If I could exist in the real world. I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. But, well, that's not possible for me. As I understand it, even though you appeared in their memories, your existence was a great comfort to them. <sighs> mm -hmm. They all believe you once lived among them. No. Well, now that I've found you, let's continue this conversation some other time. They might still need my help. Dainsliff. Twilight Sword, you mean? Uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. Settled? Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. The loom of fate has already been completed. Oh. Huh? The loom of fate is already completed. That means the eye of the first field tiller must have fallen into the hands of the abyss. Could something have happened to Dane? No need to worry about Captain Dane's left. He's absolutely fine. The only reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? What? Huh? His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the prince. He would then hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. That way, Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the eye all at once. A very thorough plan. Is it to my twin, but... Dane never handed me the That's eye. Right. Because in his mind, he had given it to you already. Uh never mind. Wait. Does that mean he gave Dane a false memory? You made him think that. When? Before you two entered that false location. Traveler, wait. Ah that's why. No time to lose. Let's head inside. Ah, oh, I see. That's why. So when Dane froze up back then, it was because that of was when I the, back. the memory of him handing you the eye. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dane's left failed to notice anything out of the ordinary. 
and took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to retrieve the eye. I can't tell if you're good or not. So Dane had the eye this whole time until the Abyss Order took it away. I'm not sure there's anything we could have done. Now that the Loom of Fate is complete, what were, are you planning to do with it? I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you, but I truly have no idea what the Prince is planning. Mm. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. In any case, I had my own use for the Loom of Fate, and my goal, at least, has been achieved. Your goal? You remember my father, don't you? Glotar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory. Yep. After he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story. Yeah. That this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears, even if just for a moment. My goal was simple, to use the Loom of Fate in its near-completed form, when its ability to create memories was at its strongest, to implant a specific memory into the minds of the Hillichurls. In that memory, I would tell them a story, Oh. just like my father did for me. It was a story of fairy tales and love. But, more than anything, it was the story of us. Mm. So that, there, here we go. So, so that, sorry, I'm distracted as well doing another thing. So the, so the thing that caused the hill trail to, to calm back then. Back, bleh, to calm b down back then was Carrie Bear's story. So that was his goal. That was the only thing he wanted. He had a device as powerful as the Loom of Fate at his disposal. And all he wanted to do with it was to offer the Hillitrails a moment of comfort and peace. I can't change the world. Not when I lost the very right to exist within it. Implanting those memories, that was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. That was very sweet, though. I think that it was very meaningful indeed. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. My goal was the one thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now... That time story is finished, and it's finally time to rest. There's the title. Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. Kari Bear's consciousness. 
darkness is gone, and this space will soon disappear along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <laughs> Were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. That breaks my heart. How about a conversation? Oh, yay! The chance to just stop and talk uh. like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? I almost can't believe it's real. That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. I didn't expect that after everything would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. What exactly are you planning? The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the Heavenly Principles awaken. Oh, the Heavenly Principle. The Heavenly Principles are still asleep? Yes. For 500 years now, ever since the Cataclysm in Conria, there's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes? Mm-hmm. Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. And still Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principle situation. Oh, that's However, true. The heavenly principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be. Or what might trigger it. You really hate the heavenly principles, don't you? You could say that. Just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world. Even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the heavenly principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. Mm hmm. Uh. So he's not that bad, but I think he's going about it in a bad way, I think. Triple dots. You mean? We're going to talk. You're the only one in this world who calls me that. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're talking. There's so much I wanted to ask you. But for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. Mm -hmm. There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? That is true. Hmm. It's like a Tosa and... At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known Carrie as Bear. the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together. This is a beautiful scene, by the way. He told me. He wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me? Well... Would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean? I miss you too, Lumine. But as this war continues to rage, and as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes. Let alone my own sister. Mm. Oh, come on, no. What's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. No. In fact, aside from our ability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. 
With Kari Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything that happened here. No. Everything in this space will be wiped from existence, including all memory of our reunion. You're only telling me this now? This is... Wait! That was cool to see him though, but... Did he say something that we could not hear? Mm. I hope they, these two siblings have a good ending. We're back to to the normal time, aren't we? Oh, and Dane came by just now. It looked like he was injured. Hmm. He didn't say anything though. Just make sure that you were all right and left. Kind of seems like he had a lot on his mind, but that's Dane for you. Uh, he never changes, does he? I'm having trouble thinking straight right now. Hmm. Let's think for a second. We were in that memory, and we saw that guy you called Curry Bear. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Curry Bear and I talked for a while. He told me about the Loom of Fate. Really? What a score! Sure. I guess our commission is complete then. The missing villager, the person who only existed in people's memories, was Curry Bear all along. But now that he's gone, I'm not sure how to explain things to the villagers. I don't think we need to. Well, what happened after that? After that? Huh. I can't seem to remember. Maybe I'm just tired? I feel like something else happened. But why can't I remember? Mm. I'm not sure why. But it almost feels like I lost something. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep well? I didn't watch that animation, that animation of Genshin, the the recent, the recent animation of Genshin. I should do that for the next video. Bayram, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. Wasn't anything good or bad, I'd say. Hmm. It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. It didn't feel right to leave all the searching. Oh, the so they, they still know. So there we were, searching away, when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. Really? There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. It looked like quite a happy family. Wait, that, that doesn't sound like Carrie Bird, though. And after that, well... We all started to feel like oh. that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. Oh, I think Carrie Bird just put a different memory. So that's how Carrie Bird um, said his goodbye. That was the last memory he gave them. Oh, oh I and see. We also remembered his name, Carrie Bear. Now that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. You're good. That is a unique name. Make sure you rem you remember it this time. Oh, I hope he's happy wherever he is. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Hmm. Seems like everyone thinks Kari Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least they have some sort of explanation now. Kari Bear is gone. And the Loom of Fate is now complete. And no one will else will try to change the villagers' memories. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, we can tell her what happened. Paimon didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. Okay. So the, the one good thing I like about Genshin, though, is the story. Um, 
So I'm thinking like Honkai Star Rail and hopefully if Withering Wave keeps on going. Um, um, once they have like more story, I feel like it's both of them would be like getting really good. I mean, Honkai Star Rail is getting on the same track. It's like Honkai Star Rail is already getting good with the story. All right. Tree! She's looking at the tree still. Oh no, are you putting your head at the tree? It's like... Leaning towards it. Hi! How's it going? Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. I was part of the search party, so I... Remember what happened to Kari Bear now. Honestly, I just can't believe I forgot something so important. Maybe he wanted you to forget him. I'm sure he wouldn't want you to forget him. This one. It's funny, but I have this feeling he told me the same thing. I just can't seem to remember when. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Life is made up of a series of memories. As long as I hold on to our time together, he'll always be a part of my life. Hmm. I'm just happy I got to meet him. So, who cares what happens in the future? Right? You do care, huh? Hmm. <sighs> Okay, I'll admit, I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? No! <laughs> oh! Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? I'm sure he had his reason. <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart, Maybe he'll come back and see me one day. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promise I'd help Granny to heat with something, so I should head back. Goodbye. Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. I hope so. And there's this thing here. Oh, right. Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Curry Bear? Right. What was it that happened? I can't remember. Huh? It feels like there's something in my pocket. Uh, a picture? Where'd that come from? Let Paimon see. Oh, You must get along with each other, the two of you. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that was pretty definitely short but but that was definitely beautiful I like that I like that and I hope you enjoyed that too that was super duper beautiful um, and I'm looking forward to Natlin and other um, other stuff in Genshin's story and um, yeah, I think the next video after this one will be um, a reaction to that animation short. Um, so, it might be like, well, I don't know. Um, it might be just like an animation trailer to this or the actual anime um, and all that. I'm not that sure, but I want to check it out after playing this. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want more content from me, J.O.R.U. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.